Hey everyone, it's JP from Squiver. Just wanted to do a quick video on account plans in Salesforce. They actually released the new account plan object, which is in Salesforce now. Uh, I believe it's Enterprise Edition and above. But as you can see here, we've got the account plans tab here. After you activate the account plans via setup, you should be off and running. And so in this case, we'll click on the account plan We've got a couple in here. I'm just going to create a new one so you guys can kind of see how it works. In this case, we have the account plan name. You can search to the account for the account plan. In this case, we'll go to Dunder Mifflin. You've got the start and end dates rendering along with your account vision and your notes. So this is going to help you um, fill this out. We'll just go ahead and say this is from Jan to, we'll say, the end of the year. There is a status on the account plan. We'll say this one's active. And as you can see, there's some key tenants around this. Um, SWOT analysis is a pretty popular uh, lens into how we're doing from a strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats. You can fill these out as you go you will be able to edit these once the account plan is laid down as well so these are just text fields in salesforce you have your customer landscape giving you strategic priorities your kpis your challenges and industry trends i think a lot of the work around where we're focused on what salesforce is doing around agent force is bringing this into the data in salesforce and being able to quickly not only render them on the account on the account plan but also take actions on these. And then of course there's competitive landscape, there's strengths, weaknesses, and competitors. Once you go ahead and save this, this will save onto that particular account. And once it's created, you'll be able to see it in action. So uh, combined with Squiver, you're gonna be able to take this lens into the account plan. Uh, at Scorver, we do focus in on account planning and relationship management in Salesforce. So here you have Salesforce's highlight panel, uh, all the opportunities per stage. What revenue do you have this and last quarter? And what win rates you have this and last quarter? This is actually Squiver's white space analysis. I'll come back to this. This is going to be able to break that revenue out over product families or products. You also are able to quickly get a lens into all those opportunities and even your cross and upsell. I will dive into that a little bit later in the, in the video, but for now we'll focus in on your account plan information we just created. Here's your vision, here's your notes, your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. You can fill those out. Customer landscape, competitive landscape. These are text fields, so it's a little tough to report off of all this, but um, we're going to certainly look to address that via Squiver as well. And then you can see down here, there is a relationship map that comes in. It's very onesie twosie. You have to add them as you go. It doesn't really map to your Salesforce data. So you can check out the relationship map on a previous video if you'd like. At Squiver, we do render not only your white space analysis. In this case, we're actually pre-populating your most important groups of people, key target contacts, account improvement plans these might be folks who are blockers or detractors outreach targets and ideal customer profile we also have a very dynamic relationship map and org chart so you can start to look at not only the account but any hierarchical moments from a parent child account perspective and of course dynamically see who all is within that account right off the bat from here you'll be able to take a ton of best actions um, all within Salesforce and then of course within Squiver we do render your uh, action plans and playbooks and so in this case we have a 30 60 90 rolling in this typically will map to uh, what is that plan of success on the account level actually any object in Salesforce so we're really excited about agent force we're really excited about the account plan object in Salesforce we're going to look to optimize you guys and really get you guys to, hey, what? how are we doing on not only um, our account plans, how are we progressing to revenue targets, and ultimately tiering our priorities here.
I hope this is helpful, you guys. Please feel free to leave any comments and we look forward to serving you in 2025.